Oh hey, it's Rob, and uh, we're outside today, cooking. Got a uh, picanha on the grill. All right now I've got it a uh, little uh, crusted on both sides, and now I'm just letting it cook in indirect heat, and it's got a little bit of time to go. But, there's an experiment today. So I'm going to be grilling some chicken thighs, and uh, one of the things I want to try, well, I, I like brining chicken. Uh, it gives it a lot of extra flavor well, and juiciness. Tyson back there. Um, but I'm going to try something called vacuum brining. So I have a vacuum pump and I have Some. chicken that are in these hey. brine bags. Oh, hey. What you making? I'm making food. I'm also recording a video. Ah. Um, so anyway, uh, two of these I'm going to keep out as a control. And three of them I'm going to keep in here and it looks like the bags are not sealed sufficiently so that'll be interesting but this goes in yonder pot and we'll hook it up with the vacuum and try and pull a bunch of air out of the chicken so that when I release the vacuum all the brine can get in and go deeper at least that's the theory so I've got the pump hooked up, the chicken is in there, and we're ready to go. And now we just let that sit <clears throat> for a few hours. It's actually nice and cool out here, so it's uh, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, and then I'll slowly let the air back in, let the brine, let the brine force the brine into the meat, and then we'll put it in the refrigerator and let that sit for a while. These have been in the refrigerator for a couple days. So these are the ones that were not under vacuum, and then these three are the ones that were. One of the things that I notice immediately is that these are cloudier and less green than these two are. So just a visual inspection there is a difference. All right, these are the ones that uh, were brined normally and they picked up this lovely green color, uh, but it didn't penetrate all the way through. So there are some parts of it, especially where it was folded over that didn't really pick up the brine. So, you know, they're all, these didn't even get it on the outside very much. So these are the ones that were vacuumed and let me get some of this stuff off. Um, they look like they were more even. So I'm not sure about that one. Definitely looks like there's more penetration, so. I, mean, I guess we'll, you know, we'll cook them up and see. First of all, I want to season them. Got, got some uh, portobello mushrooms on indirect heat. And we're going to start cooking these. I got the ones marked with, uh, the ones that weren't vacuumed marked with toothpicks. This is Stella. Stella thinks I'm the bomb. <clears throat> I 
So, all right. Vacuum ones seem a lot more tough. Really? Yeah, it seems a little tougher to cut the vacuum than the non-vacuum. Okay, that's interesting. Like the non-vacuums cut immediately. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, the vacuum one seems a little bit tougher to cut. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna try the non or the non-vacuum one first. Definitely can taste the pickly. Mm hmm. It tastes pretty good. Yeah. The the vacuumed one you can taste it. Mm hmm But it's a lot less apparent. Like it's still there, but it's very subtle. Yeah. It's almost it's drier. Yeah. Hmm. But like not a bad dry. Because the flavor is a lot more spread out. Mm hmm Definitely a difference. A lot more of the flavor soaked into the outside. I think it more pulled the flavor from the inside to the outside. Probably. That's what it, it tastes like. Yeah. Well, it pulled out a lot of the fluids from inside the chicken. I thought it would replace them. Now there is a there is a definite tang yeah. to the to the vacuum ones. So this is Falcourt. Falcourt is an old name. Yeah. yeah. You want to know what that fuzzy thing on the top is? Yeah. And this is Daisy. Daisy's a drum. Yeah. Sometimes. Hey, Cracker. Come on. Well, I think for the amount of work that it was, it didn't really do that much. No. I more made it dry and, yeah. like, suck the flavor. Yeah. I agree. Well, that's, it's disappointing, but fun experiment. Yeah. So, I guess don't try this at home. It doesn't work very well. Might try it with pork or something like that, but um, with the results of this... I wonder what steak would be like. I don't think I've ever brined a steak. I might try it. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know if pickle brine would be good on a steak. I know it's good on chicken, but... So, all right, uh, experiment tried, and uh, we got results. Ribs. Ribs? I wonder what ribs would be like. Hmm. Would it just make them drier? Because ribs are, sometimes they're pretty dry. I don't know. Maybe we can try that sometime. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, uh, it wasn't a failure, it was a... It was an experiment, and we learned that it doesn't work as well as as I thought it would, as I hoped it would. So I'm kind of sad. But now we got chicken. So. Yep. All right. Till next time. That's kind of a big fat nothing.